apparently regretting all my life decisions. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely lovely day. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing, but it won't be one singular unboxing as the board would indicate. I've just been too lazy to wipe it off. We are going to be doing the triple ipsy unbagging for the month of June and I'm pretty excited to go ahead and dive on into these little baggies here. One of them has already been slightly do- divin- do- di slightly dove into for me, but I'll show you guys that in just a second. So if you are brand new here, first of all, hello, welcome, super duper excited to meet you, but if you don't know what the triple ipsy unbagging is, it is where I have ordered three different ipsies with three very different profiles, and we compare them all together to see if the to see if the beauty profile even matters. One of my bags is supposed to be like full of like neutral everyday makeup. The other one is supposed to be full of like adventurous crazy colored makeup and the other one is supposed to be full of skincare according to the profiles. Does that typically work out? No. <laughs> but we do still do our terrible experiment to see if Ipsy does match the beauty profiles. Now this month, the Ipsy versus Ipsy versus Ipsy is gonna have just a little bit of a twist. Oh, y'all wanted a twist. <laughs> in that I myself right now do not know which bag is which and I'm gonna try to guess which bag matches which profile and after I unbag all of the bags I'm gonna reveal which bag matches which profile and then I'm going to do a try on of all three bags on my face. This is actually suggested in a comment on another video a little while back so I'm gonna try it today and let's just go ahead and hop on into the unbaggings. Alrighty so bag number one is the one that came with just like a little a little sneak preview hole in it. So as you guys know, I'm a little bit unwieldy with a box cutter. I scare many, many people, but I promise you this right here was not me. <laughs> My bag came to me exactly in this manner. Somebody got a little bit slicey with a box cutter and just cut right into the outside bag. And it looks like they cut into my Ipsy bag as well. Alrighty, so mystery bag number one here. Like I said, I do not know which profile this is, but I think the bag itself is pretty cute. It has an extra little pocket here where I could just slide things right in. I I like the zipper for this month too. It's like a cute little heart zipper. I think that's pretty adorable. So let's go ahead and get inside here and see if we can figure out what profile this bag is supposed to match. Alrighty, so the very first item in this bag here comes with a little box. This is from Pretty Woman and it is a nail polish. Oh wow. Alrighty, I think this product took like the brunt of the uh, box cutter that sliced through my bag. So that's a good thing though because it is a glass nail polish bottle. So I believe I received mine in the shade Vacay and for the very first time ever, I actually painted my nails before filming, so I can't really try it on, but let's go ahead and see what color it is. Ooh, wow, okay, so this is a super duper pale nail polish. This is like not white, but a little bit like on the creamy side. I do like the packaging on this. It looks very like clean and simple and pretty. The color itself is something different for me. I'm wondering how opaque it will be. I wonder if it's like more just to give your nails like a pretty... I don't know what I'm trying to think of, like a pretty like coating that looks kind of natural or if it's an actual like opaque nail polish. Okie dokie, the next item in here is actually a pretty decent size. It is a little squeezy tube, but it's a good size squeezy tube, not like the Birchbox squeezy tubes. This is from Delectable. This is a body butter cream in the scent Triple Citrus Blend. This is supposed to be a supernatural beauty. It really does not want me to get into this little lotion bottle here. Mmm, that smells very, very citrusy, super duper summery. I actually I actually really, really like the scent of that. I love that this says created in Canada and above it, there's a moose. All right, so next up in here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab out this little pot of stuff. This is a macaroon. I think it's supposed to be pronounced macaron, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is from K Voss NYC. And this is a lip balm. I could definitely use a good lip balm right now. So I'll go ahead and give it a shot. There's not too much of a scent to it, but it feels like a pretty standard glossy balm on the lip. Very, very thin and a little bit oily. Alrighty, next up in here, I'm gonna go for this little guy, which is a Luxie brush. And I absolutely love getting brushes in all of my bags. This one is a small little guy. So I have a Luxie 245 small shader brush and this is what it looks like. It's really cute. I do like the style of the Luxie brush. I like the pale pink with the this color metal. So this I'm fairly excited for. Let's go ahead and see the very very last thing in here which is a small squeezy tube. Alrighty so the last thing in here is a prep in prime from MAC. This is a skin base visage and I know these are little samples that you get like free from MAC when you make purchases and things like that so that's not 
too super exciting for me and it is a pretty tiny little guy. Alrighty guys, so everything that came in the first bag is right here and from what I'm seeing, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is the skincare bag. We have a face primer, a nail polish, a lip balm, a body butter, and then a brush. So I'm thinking that all these products are pretty skincare-ish, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that is the skincare bag, but uh, we'll see in the end. Let me know what you guys think down below. You can leave all of your guesses for the bags as well. Alrighty, moving on to bag number two. Let's go ahead and get in here. Oh man, now I don't know. I just pulled out bag number two and I have two face masks and that seems pretty skincare-ish too, so we'll have to see. I don't know. But my second bag is also in the same color scheme. I don't know if there are variations this month or not. I guess we'll find out. So the very first thing in my second bag here are two sheet masks. The first one is a basket of apples, which is pretty cute. This is a natural tox apple sheet mask. Makes sense. And then I have a natural acia berry ma mask sheet. Mask? Mask sheet. Sheet mask. Mask sheets. <laughs> so two very fruity sheet masks going on here. I think they are from the same brand. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I meant like the same brand as in like the two came from the same brand, but the brand name is like the same. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was weird. Anyway, so two sheet masks right on top. Let's go ahead and get on into the bag and see what's inside. Okie dokie, first up here we have a very shiny little box and I've received some stuff from this brand before and I really like the packaging because it's rose gold and shiny. <laughs> it doesn't take too much to impress me. Some shiny cardboard will do it for sure. So this is an eyeshadow from Steve Lowe. Let's go ahead and see what killer it is. Ooh, okay, so this is a bright, bright, bright blue eyeshadow, and that gives me a bit of a hint that this might be my adventurous bag. So here is the shadow. It does look like a full-size shadow, and it just comes in a cute little twist-off Steve Laurent packaging. I will go ahead and get a swatch for you guys. There it is on the finger. It definitely has like a shimmery sheen to it. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, okay. But it is a super pretty color. It is a little bit more like sky blue that I would personally go if I were to wear a blue eyeshadow, which I, I don't often. But it'll be fun to see how this turns out on my eyeballs, so uh, looking forward to using this. Okay, going back into bag number two, I have something that won't get in my hand. I have something from Cots. This is the Healthier Sunscreen for face. And it says that it is tinted and has SPF 40 in it. Ooh, it leaked just a little bit. I just kind of pressed it just a bit to get some of it out and some oil just leaked right out of it. That's super duper appetizing. Let me go ahead and see if I can get some actual product out. There we go. Alrighty, so there it is in the back of my hand. It is a bit oily. Let's go ahead and rub around and see what it looks like. Alright, so there it is rubbed around on the back of my hand. It did just tint my hand ever ever so slightly, but it feels super duper oily so if you guys have oily skin I, I wouldn't recommend this because I can just like feel it setting on the top of my skin next up in here I have two sticks so I'm gonna go for this one because it feels like a repeat yes it is so I have yet another Luxie 245 brush here but honestly I personally think that you can't get too many brushes so I'm perfectly okay with this let's go ahead and pull out the next thing in here which feels very much like an eyeliner <laughs> and that is because it is so I have something from Jaunt Bleu. This is a professional art makeup liquid eyeliner with 24 hour wear, which honestly, if I get a liquid eyeliner that does wear like really well for a long time, I'm okay with it because that's my like go-to type of eyeliner. I just am not a fan of getting like a billion stick eyeliners in uh, all these subscriptions. Alrighty, so this little guy here is a felt tip liner. Let's go ahead and get a swatch of it and see how it goes. I am 100% not left-handed, so this should be great. Okay, let's do that one more time. Beautiful. Alrighty, so it does look like you can control the thickness with this, which is nice. You can get like a really nice little line, or if you want to go a bit thicker, you can. It does seem decently pigmented, which is nice, and it went on pretty smoothly, so I'm excited to try this out. Alrighty, guys, so that was everything for my second bag. I'm going to go ahead and assume that this was the adventurous bag, just because of the bright blue eyeshadow. That's like the only clue I have. It honestly could be anything. I don't know, but that's my guess. I will see if I'm right in just a little bit, but until then, let's go ahead and move on into the third bag. Alrighty guys, we are on to the third and final bag. Let's go ahead and get in here and see what we get. Ooh, look at that! 
yes! Alrighty, so there were actually bag variations this month, which I did not know. This one is a very, like, lovely, bright, yellowy bag, which is pretty cute as well. Go ahead and pull out the very first thing in here, which is wrapped in bubble wrap. That always makes me very excited for some reason. Ooh, okay, so I have something from Pacifica here, and it says Tomboy Vibes Natural Mineral Eyeshadow. <laughs> that is why I was never on a sports team. <laughs> I caught it in my hand and then immediately like launched it into space. <laughs> so here's the eyeshadow palette. Hopefully it's not destroyed since I just threw it across the room. I'm gonna go ahead and cut on into this. This seems like a pretty cute eyeshadow palette just judging from the colors on the back. Here we have all the colors in the palette. I think these are beautiful colors. I think they're gonna be super fun for summer. Here are all of them swatched. I think they actually swatched really, really well, which makes me excited. They're very, very smooth feeling and uh, pretty pigmented as well. Even this bright green, I was a little bit concerned about this chartreuse color, but it does look really pretty. I think my favorite one though is this one down here. So I'm pretty excited to play with this little palette here. I guess I get to like mold all these colors together, which I think the blue kind of goes nicely with the rest of these, so it won't look too weird maybe <laughs> when I try them all on. Spoiler alert, uh, it, it doesn't go too well for you. Hate to burst your bubble. Alrighty, next in here we have something from Cake. This is a Deserted Island Supreme Bottle body mousse. Mm. So I'm guessing this is just like a body lotion. Ooh, it does smell pretty cakey, a little bit coconutty. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so it feels pretty nice. It smells very, very good. It smells like you could possibly eat it. I won't eat it though, I promise. <laughs> oh, it also has a Canadian mousse on it too. I just think that's so adorable for some reason. <laughs> All right, so so far in these bags, I have got some real nice smelling lotions, which I'm pretty excited about. Let's go ahead and see what is next in here. There's another little box. Ooh, this is actually pretty cute. This is Nomad Stockholm Midnight Sun. Ooh, okay, this is a highlighting powder, but I really like the little packaging on this. It's like cute little buildings and stuff, very adorable. Alrighty, so we've actually received a Nomad eyeshadow before from Ipsy, but this is a cute little Nomad highlighter. It's also in a really, really pretty color. I like these very, like, light gold champagne-y colors. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little swatch here on my swatch and arm. Okay, so that does look pretty in the swatch. I think it'll match my skin tone pretty nicely. It does seem a bit on the less pigmented side. It's kind of blending away quite a bit, but I'll be interested to see how it performs like over top of foundation and other makeup. All right, two things left in this one little bag and they're both tiny squeezy tubes. <sighs> okay, next up is something I've received like 15 times. That might be an over-exaggeration, but I think this is like time number three. So I have a Hanalei or Hanalei lip treatment in the shade Mauve Pink, and I've received this in a few different subscription boxes and it's a nice little uh, lip treatment here. I do like that this has a bit of a tint to it though, so it's something you could just throw on if you're not wanting to wear like a lipstick or something. All right, and then the final product in the yellow bag here is yet another MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage. So that is everything for my third bag, and I guess this one makes the most sense as being my like normal, regular, everyday, more neutral color bag. There are some bright, fun colors in this little palette here, but I could see this definitely working for an everyday look as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and reveal all of the actual bag profiles right now. Let me know what you guys guessed, and then let me know if you actually got it right. Alrighty, so bag number one, I guessed it to be the skincare bag, and it actually is... <laughs> Bag number two, I guessed it to be the Adventures bag, and it actually is. <laughs> and bag number three, I guessed it to be my regular bag, and it actually is. <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like I got my two like makeup heavy bags mixed up. I personally thought the bright blue eyeshadow was looking pretty adventurous to me, but they put that in my regular bag, which is supposed to have very neutral everyday makeup. I personally don't know if I would have gone about it that way, but but that is just me personally. Let me know what you guys thought about the bags and how well they matched the profile or didn't match the profile, what you guys thought of all the little little doodads inside of them. <laughs> and that is all for the unboxing portion of this video. If you are gonna click out now because this is already way too long, I completely understand. I'll just see you guys in the next video. But if you wanna stick around for the try on portion, that is gonna start right now. Alrighty guys, cat ears are a must for getting this hair out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in just ever so slightly. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the very first thing I'm going to be starting off with is a primer here. This is the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Primer. I've been using this for a while now and it's definitely one of my favorites. I did receive this for review from Ofra. So I'm just going to go ahead and slam this on and then we'll move on to the next step. <gasps> I totally forgot that I got two primers in these bags. Why is my memory like absolutely awful? It's like the memory of a newborn goldfish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on uh, primer number two, which is the MAC Prep and Prime. There's gonna be a whole lot of layers on my face today because next up I'm gonna use the Cots Face Tinted uh, stuff here. <laughs> My face is so greasy right now. <laughs> All right, now that I am very moisturized, I'm gonna go ahead and mix a couple of foundations together because I am almost out of my favorite foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade One in One Ivory Nude. I received this review from Estee Lauder. And I'm also going to mix in some of this Revlon Color Stay, which is my favorite drugstore foundation. We're just gonna pretend like you guys don't see this disgusting foundation brush wrapped up in plastic and rubber bands. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly blend this out over top of all of my primer and see how it goes. All right, so I went ahead and did some bronzing with this little uh, Tarte bronzer here. And then I also put on some blush, which is the Ofra blush in the shade Bellini. I received this for review from Ofra. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try out this tiny little Nomad highlighter. Let me grab a highlight and brush. All right, right off the bat, I'm thinking this is definitely a more like natural, subtle glow highlight. I'm not the best at eyeshadow. I think we all know that, so I'm gonna see how well I can get like you know reddish and then green and uh, blue all to work together in my eyes but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Alright so the very first shadow I'm going to try out is this kind of like reddy bricky looking one here at the end. These do have quite a bit of fallout if you guys can see. They coat the brush a lot so I'm gonna tap some of that off. Oh it all went away. Okay so maybe not tap so hard. Alrighty so there is the red shade. Not the most pigmented thing ever but you know there's some color happening. There's not many non shimmery shades in this palette here so I don't really know what to go into like the crease with to deepen it. I really at this point I, I really don't know what to do with these colors so I'm just gonna slap something on my face. It's not gonna look very good. I promise you that and uh, we'll just we're just deal with it. So we're just doing red and blue like the 4th of July. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is happening. Oh boy, you guys. This is so bad. I have fallout going everywhere. I have the 4th of July on my eyeballs. No, that'll make it worse. Okay, um... This is me thinking, hey, maybe green might look cool under my eyes. And this is me realizing how bad of an idea that was. I'm currently regretting all my life decisions. All right, I think I'm at a point where I've realized I've messed up, like this isn't good, and uh, there's no really fixing it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some eyeliner <laughs> some mascara and uh, yeah. Okay, so so far the eyeliner went on pretty well. I like how pigmented it is. It glided on very smoothly. Hopefully it stays put because I do actually like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara on this eye over here. Do this eye, I guess, the same way I did the first one and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so here it is on. It's done. <laughs> um, Not the best makeup look I've ever done. I don't know, I was just hoping it would turn out a little bit differently. The Pacifica shadows were not nearly as pigmented as I thought they were gonna be, which was a little bit unfortunate. I do, however, so far like this eyeliner. It's actually probably one of my favorite parts of the makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some of this Givenchy gloss really fast just because I don't think I need any other color going on my face right now. So this is very like lightly pigmented. Oh, I didn't even notice that big hunk of blue over there. That's fun. I did receive this gloss from Givenchy for review. Alrighty guys, and I guess that is just about it. My face is fully done. I'm pretty much ready for my day. <laughs> the makeup look with the cat ears and the outfit I'm wearing right now is absolutely insane. I can't wait to order pizza or something and open the door like this. They're gonna be like, oh my goodness, this lady is actually crazy. Just to get... <gasps> Help! Help! Did I or did I not tell you one day this chair would splat out from underneath me? <laughs> okay. I think I'm done. That's enough unboxing for right now. Anyway, so that was my um, three Ipsy unbagging for this month, plus the try-on. Let me know what you guys thought about the bags down below in the comments. Again, I really think that the adventurous bag and the normal bag should kind of be switched. This blue eyeshadow, I think, is much more adventurous than this very lightly pigmented Pacifica palette. I'm a little bit shaken right now. Ooh, I almost forgot really fast. I was going to test out this Oscar de la Renta perfume. I did receive this review from them. This is 
the Bella Blanca perfume. It has one of the most beautiful bottles I've ever seen. There's like this beautiful like flower applique on the front and it has this very lovely shiny lid with a little Oscar de la Renta uh, sign here. Ooh, I really, really like that. That smells absolutely lovely. It's a little bit of a pick-me-up after I almost just fell to my death in this chair. <laughs> anyway, you guys, this video has been an absolute disaster. Hopefully I can edit it to where it's not this much of a train wreck. But anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!